All right, everybody, it's time for the next episode of Encrypted, which... Actually, um... You guys, sorry for not making a new episode on this for, like, a few days. But I think one thing I'm going to do is see if I can make, um... the foundry because i have access to the nether now to so i can see if i if there's like stuff i can do because it's good at storing items but that might be difficult i'll leave that that for later so i'm gonna so we've gotten like generating power basically done Building ones, we know about that. Okay. Okay, let's... Okay, so to make this, we're going to need a lot of steel and... For that, either we can use iron, which is 60 seconds, or mixing, which is not six uh that much time so what i'm going to do is i have the storage network so i'm grabbing sixteen graphite So there, some, now that's some coal, uh, let's see. I think I can just, like, dissolve some things, like, that is six stacks. That's, like, ton multiple stacks of stuff, including carbon, so I'm gonna use what I get from that, because it's, like, six stacks of carbon. So, hydrogen, oxygen, put that all in, and grab this. Okay, so, I'll get one more stack of carbon. And then, uh, make the graphite. So, I'll do, I'll probably add, like, some time lapse in here of me making the graphite. And, uh... Yeah, see you guys once I've finished making all this graphite. Alright, so the graphite has finished making, and yeah, that was pretty easy. And so now I'm just going to include like a time lapse or something of turning the graphite into actual coal. So let's do that. Alright, that's done. Both of those were actually surprisingly fast. I might not, like, do a time lapse because it might take a long time. But, um, I don't know. So let's see if I can find something that'll work as fuel. Well, I don't see anything. Um... It's interesting how there's, like, different stuff. Like, you use andesite for, like, tears. So, yeah. Um, let's see. Virgin Tech V2.0. Yeah, that's there. But that requires deployers, tin, glass, iron. That's still not that difficult, but I'd rather do it with Project E. So, that is not a lot. Narrator. Narrates all. N narrator. Off. Uh, yeah, I do not want to have the narrator be on. 
Alright, I'm just going to dissolve all this and get a bunch of iron, because, I mean, I'm, I'm running out of iron, kind basically, and so I need to get some, and, yeah, okay. So now that's enough, and to make steel, I'm going to need 16. This iron is only enough for four, so I need 256 iron. Um... So, I think, here, I'm just going to get a ton of beetroot for a second. And that really, it's really quick to get beetroot, because I have, like, production going 16 times the speed Plus, I have a bunch of stuff because sneaking makes it really fast, so that's nice. And I'm not going to get any iron from dissolving the seeds, so I'm just going to put those in storage. So, um, there. And all the sucrose will also go into storage. And I just need to dissolve this and I'll have a bunch of iron. There, okay. Now, iron is not quite at the 216, so really quick, just going to get some more. Yeah, 25 should be enough. Dissolve that and also dissolve the iron oxide, of course. I'll dissolve the beetroot seeds because why not, but... There, I have four stacks of iron. So now... Yeah, that's gotten from iron, which is smelting iron dust. Here. Ah, uh, darn it. There. Now I can just do that, get myself a bunch of iron, and that'll be smelting really quickly. So, what can I actually use steel for? Reactors? Uh, how do you get that? How do you get cyanite? There's no way to get cyanide block. Yeah, okay, well, that's just impossible. Uh, steel, yeah. Saturating condenser, what does that mean? Into water, okay. Um, fuel wood heater. So it just gets, like, heat from stuff. Okay, I need something better to use it for. Because, like, just using it for, like, getting steel casing is... I... No. Okay, well, at least the iron has finished mixing. Since I have the, the rotational force, it has an infinite supply. So, oh, okay. So, I'm going to get, get myself a little bit of extra graphite so that I can get some more coal. And I'll do like a time lapse of this mixing.
All right, there. Now I have some steel. And that only took one coal, but let's see. There's a ton of stuff I can use this for, actually. Uh, shield. Nah. Don't think I'm really gonna jetpack. <gasps> jetpack? Sounds good. That's mechanism, and I don't really want to go to that just yet. So I guess the only use for steel that I'm going to have is getting the NASA workbench. So I need That is an interesting looking hammer. What is the hammer used for? Compressing dye, a uh, dash, and just a compressor. Hmm. And so I have four steel, and I need a machine frame. <sighs> Darn it. Wait, no. Actually, I shouldn't. I just realized I shouldn't be using this, cause look, this is, it's much cheaper, I think, cause it's just brass casing and steel, but then that's, that's a huge hassle, yeah, okay, maybe I should be doing that, and for that I do need one machine frame, yeah, okay. All right, so I think I want to mass produce like stuff and make it much easier. So first thing I'm going to do is like expand this out so that I get a bunch of other stuff so that I can have like multiple of these mixers working at one time. It's gonna take a while because it's just like grinding because you have to get the lifeless andesite mixtures and use, I think this is that, right? Nope, that is not it. So what is, I can do this, and then it'll eventually give me a bunch of andesite alloy, which I'll use to keep mass-producing stuff. So, um, I'll see you when I've, like, finished stuff, because, look, look, I'm gonna need this, and it's blaze powder, of course, made like this. And just an empty blaze burner, which recipe I think has been changed. It should be like two plates and then two iron bars. But now it takes netheracky too. Um, so I'm gonna... That's weird. Didn't know you could get thermal foundation stuff. S thermal series, sorry. Automate the evaporators. Sounds great. Because these... I, th I don't think I've even set up evaporators. Yeah, I don't think so. There must be something going wrong. There should, there shouldn't be. There's no such thing as an evaporator here. Hold well on. I can't set myself into creative mode to check it. I don't know. There's 
there must be some mistake. Like, So, I guess I'll see you guys once I make my first mechanical mix, my second mechanical mixer and basin and blaze burner. So, see you then, I guess. Alright, so, um, this is overstressed now, so, I'm gonna have to make more water wheels. So, um, I'm going to do that. Alright, so I have my next setup right here, um, but I just got some water wheels working and I got it so that it's going much faster now, so I shouldn't have any problems setting up this. So, it's raining again, okay. Well, I'm going to, like... I'm gonna unpause the video once I have like some more things set up. Maybe okay. I'll stop. I'll stop at six because six is like good enough for me. So yeah. Uh, see you then. I guess. And well, did it. Whew. That was actually surprisingly easy. Um, considering the blaze powder can is just like germanium and sulfur which you can um get from dissolving uh stuff like where is it hold on nether wart and there, that duplication hack for infinite germanium does work um and sulfur it's just like there's there's so much stuff you can dissolve it from. There's you're gonna come up with something that can give you a ton of it. Like here, it's a yellow simulation block. So yeah, I got the blaze burners, the basins, and the mixers all running at super high speeds. So now I can get one. I'll get one iron uh, to show. Where did I? No, wait, no. Automatically puts it on when I die. Okay. Iron. That is. Get the beetroot. Dissolve it. There. There's a dog barking outside. That is not what I meant to do. So to show you how fast this is, I have that and I can just fuel it up with like sticks also there's like a supplementaries thing but that was super quick I already have it's already mixed I already got the extra steel and for some reason supplementaries adds this thing where you can like place sticks I don't know why. I also don't know why I needed to mention that, but yeah, that is a thing. So it does seem like there is a lot that I need to do.
Okay, so to get this, I need s that, of course, yeah. Induction smelter, okay. How do you get that? Oh, induction smelter, okay. End of file, which requires des o dash ostrom and calorite. Yeah, of course. Moon, Mars, and Venus. So that requires a ton of steel, actually. So right now it's running really fast. So I'm just going to like stop that for a second. And okay. So <laughs> the goal for this episode was to get the compressor. So I'm going to start grinding out beetroot. So once I get like about a stack and a half, then I can go and collect the other ones and it'll probably get me to like two stacks. Yeah, almost three actually, okay. Put all the beetroot seeds back and then dissolve the beetroot so that I get some iron oxide. This way I can actually get like the iron that I need. Uh, also get some sucrose that could be useful for carbon because a stack of sucrose is like Hold on one second calculator That's 45 different stacks of stuff including carbon and yeah so that, that's nice. So I'm going to get some stuff and wait for this to dissolve because it doesn't take that much time. Uh, okay, so oxygen, yep, F fuel loader. Biodiesel, diesel, refined fuel. Y you know what? Refined fuel sounds like the best option. So I'll do this. I can get some of that. Um, compressor. So that's for the hammers. Redstone. I need redstone. Are you kidding me? Okay, I need to find some ways to get redstone. I do not have redstone currently, so I'm going to go for a little mining trip. Uh, first, I need to make some more pickaxes. And, okay. So, I'm just going to say this. I don't really like to play this mod pack. I, I don't really like playing mod packs without Project E. So, something that I'm going to do right now is uh, exit and restart the th mod pack, except with Project E, because CurseForge can do that. I know it's like cheating, but honestly, I just don't w want. To, I just don't like mod packs that don't have Project E, and it's just like, I'd rather have it in it, because when there's so much stuff that I have to go through, like so many materials that I need, it gets kind of boring. I don't like, I don't like grinding that much, so... So I'm going to uh, do that. Hold on. All right, just reloaded it with Project E, of course. And like, I just want to have like good experience. So 
I just added it, okay? I I just did. Dee dee do. Okay, um it's taking some time to load. Alright, so EMC values on stuff, and that's nice, and yeah. So I guess Philosopher's Stone will be the next goal. So that means Glowstone and Redstone plus a Diamond. So let's see what I have out of that. Diamond, I have that. And I need to get some glowstone, which is here. Wait, do I have... I do not have obsidian in there. So, um... That's magma, no. Um, hold on. Have the diamond. I just need glowstone. And I see some over there, and. Not quite out of blocks, because there's some stuff over here I can definitely use for blocks. Wait, what? Okay, there. Oh, I could probably... If there's one vine here... Yeah. Twisting vines. They're definitely going to save the day. So, I find the spot where there is glowstone right there. Not a convenient spot. I can work with it, though. So now, I just have to shift. And then I get this huge twisting vine tower. And I don't have any food. Great. But then I get that, and now I have a bunch of glowstone. So I can do slash home. And now I have the glowstone I need. And... Okay, yeah, I really need to eat some beetroot. Yeah, okay. So the next thing would be redstone, but that requires strontium. And that's going to be pretty hard to get, but I think I can do it in one episode. So let's see, strontium, dissolving strontium nitrate, nope, 
hydroxide, no, carbonate, that is what I am actually using for the redstone. Oh, actually, I can, I'm going to see if there's any redstone down here. Like, just in case. That is copper ore. And there's nothing. I didn't get anything before my thing broke. Okay. Just make another pickaxe. That is uraniate from Power, I think. That is all the ores zinc. I'm not sure what. Oh, that's lead. Okay, so. Seeing as this is definitely taking away my durability by a ton. I'm going to do this to mine a bunch more. And there's still nothing. Hold on. Redstone ore, world gen. It spawn overworld. Oh. <sighs> okay. Well, guess I mined all that for nothing. So, strontium. Uh, red simulation blocks. Okay. There. Dissolve and also dissolve. Dissolve. Dissolves 28%. Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, I just... I. That's enough for 11 redstone and I only need 4. Alright. So that's the 4 strontium. Are you kidding? Okay. At least it wasn't that much work. Next thing I know, I'm gonna actually have redstone. Iron oxide. Let's 
there. And now... Boom. Philosopher's Stone. Now I can transmute stuff into other stuff. Nice. Nope, 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 nope. One, two, three. One, two, three. Stick. Two. Pickaxe. There. So, once I get the f transmutation table, I guess I'll s stop there and that'll be the episode. Because this episode wasn't really that good. Also, let me just remove all the death waypoints, because those suck. I don't like it when J.I. does that, but it can be useful sometimes. So, I need to find four redstone, and... Uh, sorry, no, four obsidian. Because, of course, I don't have that. Let's see, where is redstone? I mean, obsidian. I need to find some obsidian. And I do not see any, actually. Wait, so... Hold on. This should be too difficult. Just getting lava alone isn't that difficult. Because you got the crucible, and I probably don't have one. But still.
I have the crucible so I can get lava. And that's all I need. All I need is lava, and there's tons of lava in the nether, so I can just do that and get all, everything I need. Yeah, yeah, that'll be easy. Because uh, I have the Philosopher's Stone, and that can turn stuff into other stuff. Did I just... I can just mine out like that? I'm just gonna set it like that, okay? Cause like, I... Changing difficulties isn't like something that... Changing difficulties is like easy and... It's just easy to do and... I don't know why it was locked in this. Because it doesn't really make a difference. I just don't like having to deal with hunger. It's so annoying. Like, when a mod pack has Project E, then it's probably a good mod pack. If it also has Alchemistry, then it's probably a great mod pack. If it also has FTB quests or any other, like, questing system other than hardcore questing mode, then it's also probably a great pack. Because I, I specifically think hardcore questing mode is, like, worse than anything else. But, yeah, there's a lot of lava, and it's easily accessible here. Oh, oh, and there's obsidian over there. What I'm gonna do for now is get the lava, then turn it into obsidian. Click in world, shift click for second output. There. Yeah, it just has to be like pointing to something. So, while that's doing that, its thing, I'm just going to hold on. I'll do that so I'm getting more obsidian. And... There. Now I can do slash home and get that obsidian. All right. Now I can take like everything and just 
put it in here. Grab everything that has an EMC value. All of it. Whoa! Dimensional shards! That is a lot of EMC. Wait, there is computer craft in this. the stuff that doesn't have EMC that I need to keep in the system. Okay, wow. I can, I can do this and boom, metallurgic infuser. Uh, what has an EMC value here? Yeah, that's a lot of EMC. Alright, well, that's quality of life. Um, technically, I have like two, two million compressed cobblestone right here. Yeah, um...
right. Why does it have to be that? But, I mean, that's a second deployer, which is nice. So, I have the deployer. I'll just title this episode, like, Preparing for Space or something. But, I mean... I think I've basically done just random stuff in this episode and just done it because why not because <coughs> 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 there's like stuff to do so I'm gonna do it doesn't really matter what it is if it's something that can help me then I'll then I'll probably do it at some point or other. Because I really like when something has, like, lots of quality of life additions. Those are just... I want a mod pack that has... I'd rather play a mod pack that has tons of quality of life features and is mostly based around it being easy, uh, not that difficult to get started with and everything, um, then have it be difficult or really grindy, like, will, it will take you a long time, kind of stuff, so... Yeah, I guess on that, uh, we'll stop here, because it's been, like, an hour. So, that's that.